Hey Flutter developers, welcome back to Flutter Explained, your go-to channel for everything related to Flutter and Dart. In our previous video, we introduced you to the concepts of continuous integration and continuous deployment, or CI, CD, and explained their importance for modern app development. Today, we will dive deeper and show you how to set up your CI, CD environment using popular tools like Jenkins, Circular, CI, and our unique collaboration partner, Code Magic. Let's get started. All right, but before we begin, let me share a personal experience to illustrate the importance of CI CD. I once worked on a project where I had to share the code via a USB stick and deployment involved copying and pasting these files to a server. This process was slow, cumbersome, with long turnarounds for bug fixing. However, after introducing CI-CD, our team's productivity skyrocketed and we could focus finally on more critical tasks. This is just one example of how CI-CD can transform app development. Now, let's quickly recap the main idea from our last video. Continuous integration integrates changes from multiple developers shared into a one code base, ensuring the code remains stable and functional. Continuous deployment, on the other hand, automates deploying your app to production environments, making it quicker and more reliable. With that in mind, let's discuss the tools we will explore today. The first one in our list is Jenkins, an open source automation server that helps you automate the building, testing and deployment of your project. The installation is quite easy. To start with Jenkins, you will need to install it on your server. Visit the official Jenkins website, Jenkins.io, and download the appropriate package for your operating system. I use Docker in my instance. After installation, launch Jenkins and follow the setup wizard. Install the necessary plugins like the Flutter plugin or the mobile plugin that supports Flutter and Dart projects. The configuration is quite easy thanks to Jenkins build pipeline by creating a new job, selecting pipeline and define your pipeline script. You can use the Jenkins file to, de uh, to define your pipeline and version control it along with your project. The integration is possible via GitHub or GitLab repositories with Jenkins, set up webhooks and configure them so that your pipeline triggers whenever a build happens, pushed or pull request is made. Now let's talk about CodeMagic, a powerful cloud-based CI CD service designed specifically for Flutter and Dart projects. Before we dive into setting up CodeMagic, we are exciting to announce our collaboration with them. CodeMagic is an incredible tool for Flutter and Dart developers, making CI CD seamless and efficient. We encourage you to check out them and take advantage of their features to supercharge your development process. Visit the website down in the video description below to learn more and sign up for a free account. All right, so let's get started. Creating an account on CodeMagic is super easy with GitHub, GitLab and Bitbucket login. After that, you have to configure CodeMagic, which will automatically detect your Flutter projects and create a default pipeline for you. You can customize this pipeline by editing the codemagic.yaml file in your root of your repository. Define your build environment, workflows and scripts for testing and deployment your app, getting messages to your Slack channel. Enable your repository in the CodeMagic dashboard and the platform will automatically start running builds whenever there is a new pull or push request. Lastly, we have CircleCI, another powerful cloud-based CI-CD platform. So you have to sign up for CircleCI using your GitHub or GitLab account or your Circle account. And after that, you have to configure CircleCI in the folder in your repository and within it, add a config YAML file. Define your build environments, jobs and workflows in this file. You can refer to the CircleCI officials documentation for examples and best practices. Enable your project in the CircleCI dashboard and the platform will automatically start running builds whenever there is a new push or pull request. And that's it folks! With this knowledge you can now set up your CI CD environment for Flutter and Dart projects using Jenkins, CodeMagic and CircleCI. This will help you streamline your development process, catch bugs faster and deploy your apps with confidence. As always, I, if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Flutter Explain for more content around Flutter and Dart. But before you go, here is a CI CD tip for you of the day. 
Utilize caching to speed up your building time. In your CI CD pipeline, we can cache dependencies, build artifacts, and other reusable data, which can help reduce the time it takes to execute your builds. Each CI CD tool has its own caching mechanism, so be sure to consult their respective documentation for the best practices. Now, have you ever found yourself in a situation where you need to give feedback on a teammate's code or project, but you are not sure how to do so effectively? If so, then check out the Provide Feedback Like a Pro Developer Guide video. This is for you. In that video, we cover techniques and best practices for giving constructive feedback that fosters collaboration and improves teamwork. Click the link in the description below or here on the side. And now, thanks for watching and see you next week. Bye.